could do like string cheese. Hello everybody in YouTube land, it's me. It's been a while since I did an update, so I'm going to show you a little bit of what I got. Nothing too exciting, but check out this. Here's something we're not used to seeing. It's daylight still. Yeah, there's all sorts of treasures hidden over here. There's Megan's little Mustang, such like that. Let's head on out to the shop. Pew! Just kidding, there isn't a shop. <laughs> But uh, here we are again, back in the wet Pacific Northwest. Got old TR pulled up here, got Merle sitting there. And there she is, my heart, my soul, oh, my everything. Other than Megan, love you, Megan. God, just looking at it, doesn't it just really make you want to just go, Brum! You're a turkey, you know that? Anyways, I got some parts. Let's take a little trip here and check out what I got. Do, 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 do. Hi, T-Bird. So, look at that. I got some Jackman 1510 wheels. Real close. I know they're aluminum, which is super cool. I'll just paint them black or get them powder coated. But look how fat that spoke is. Almost looks like the originals. Rad! Oh, Magic Ford, deliver thy parts. I now have alternator brackets, upper radiator brackets, a old crusty water neck. Yeah! Two pairs of Falcon XA through C radiator hoses. Figure out, you know, which are the best, which are going to work. Yeah, I know they're used. I'm broke, and I got great friends. And I'm getting more the more I go along with this car. And I'm very thankful for everybody and all of your support and yada yada. Anyways, more parts. And most importantly, an almost brand new radiator. This is out of a 71 to 3 Mustang, but it should work. Should be able to make it work in there and be just dandy. Had a little bit of scuzz go through the tranny cooler, but the radiator itself is almost brand new. These parts were donated to me by a really great person. And I am more thankful than I uh, could even describe. Can't wait to drive that bad bitch and do crazy burnouts. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn. Is that not just the sexiest 8 to 1, probably 110 horsepower Cleveland you've ever seen in your life? All right. Luckily, I actually have the lower radiator stands in there still. Um, I just mocked up the brackets on there off camera. Sorry. Got all this shit all over the place. All I need, I need to get that extra long bolt now. Everything's kind of loose, you know, wiggly and such. Get the extra long bolt, make a spacer there. I was even joking about just taking a socket and making it full wasteland. <laughs> It'll get that in there. Get these out of the way. Oh no, I spilled fuel. No, the juice. Hmm. It's going to take some love. But I'll make her work. I will make it work. Yeah. So it's another night, another day. We've been having a lot of flooding around here. Um, so I kind of took this to work, cleaned it up. Shit. Painted it. I uh, just ran it on the. Uh, Belt sander real quick, got a gasket, got a thermostat. Gonna play with that a little bit. My phone's about to die though, so I'll get as much done as I can. The frogs are really going crazy out here. You can hear them. Damn it, frogs. This isn't froggy time, it's interceptor time. There she is. All right, son of a bitch, oh no, oh come on man, really? Well, that sucks, um, obviously there's some garrode and corrode in there. 
you can't see anything lights in the way. Oh, yeah. There's some grode and corrode in there. I gotta do something with these brackets. Probably gonna scoot them over. Make a bracket between the original mount. See that little hole right there? To the core support. But honestly, temporarily for now, probably just gonna zip tie the bitch in because it's uh, my car and I want to hear it run and idle and warm up and I don't even know if this motor's like good, good. You know what I mean? What the fuck is making noise over there? We got bear out here and uh, ghosts and all sorts of fun stuff. So pretty cool. This place is haunted as hell. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to clean that up, get the thermostat on at least, and do as much as I can tonight. It's about 9.30, so. <laughs> Got the motor out of Merle. All pressure washed up. It's kind of fun, I suppose. Hi, T-Bird. <laughs> Ow, son of a bitch. Fucking Dagmars. Ow. Um, ah, there we go. That's what I need. All right. Through the magic of YouTube, that's going to be clean right about now. Shut up, not yet. I wouldn't say that's too bad. Get some cleaner, go spray that off. Should be uh, pretty skookum. Hi, T-Bird. All right, see what we got here. Need some kind of a rag. Um, oh yeah, that's nice and dirty. Shit, put that over there. What do we got? Ooh, it's kind of electrical. Grab some goopum. Grab a ratchet for our next phase here. Yeah, I can't see anything either. Ha! Got that all cleaned up. Now a fun fact. We get to go in there. It gets pretty, uh, pretty creepy. A lot of things that go bump in the night in there. Especially this hour. Hello? what we find that's what I get to dig through for the next 10 10 20 two hours not sure how many of y'all believe in spirits or don't um, but I'll tell you this place will make you a believer uh, whether you want to be or not <laughs> I just like to figure them as uh, friends trying to help me with my interceptor got two bolts here I'll just find some washers thank you Got some bolts, clean the mud off the damn thing, son of a bitch. Now just to goop her up, stick her down, and we're ready to go. I'm really like drilling a little eighth inch hole, but I'm just doing this trying to see if the motor's good or not. So I'll get her on there. <laughs> yes, sir. Always make sure your thermostat's straight. Gasket. Water neck. neck wa water water neck one hand bolt bolt goop em goop em just snug her up washers look absolutely terrible okay there we go wow look at that shining and glimmering i can show you the world anyways there we go water neck i got the hoses hook that bad boy up there hook that one down there Get a belt on there, get one of those crazy long bolts. I can actually warm her up and see how good this motor really is. I had to steal one of the plug wires back from Merle's motor. But cool. So, here we go. Thanks, guys. Um, not super exciting video, but pretty exciting for me because fucking Interceptor! Yeah, anyways, I'm going to go inside because it's like 10 something at night now. And uh, stay awesome.